going to be on the Nexus Root Toolkit, but this is a little bit more specific because we're going to be talking about installing APKs or apps from uh, a file you downloaded from your computer or onto your computer. And we're going to be able to use this program to install an app on pretty much any Android device that you've downloaded off the internet to your computer and then it'll send it to the device. So it's going to be pretty cool and I'm going to show you how to do it and it's going to be done here with what's called the file association type um, or association file type. So that's what we're going to do and we're going to do that in options and I'm going to go over a couple other things in here as well. So let's go into the toolkit here. Again, if you haven't seen any of my videos on this amazing toolkit, you got to check the playlist. It is full of great, great things you can do here. So to really make this work, basically all you have to have is your ADB debugging turned on and developer options, which I've definitely covered in many, many videos. And you're going to have to have um, plugged into your computer and allow all that to function and all the drivers to ins be installed. So um, if you need help with doing that on your device specifically, I would recommend Googling the, uh, the drivers, but the ADB debugging just has to go into about phone, tap on build number 10 times, enable developer options, and then turn on USB or ADB debugging. All right, so we're going to go over these quick, quick options right here, which are very nice and super in-depth. So some quick setting things you can do here. And we'll come back to this page because I'm going to talk specifically about something on there. Um, this is check for updates automatically when you launch the tool if you want to do that. This is really, really nice. This you can pick, and right now it's defaulted to Team One Recovery as your standard recovery that it automatically downloads for you. But if you would like to set that for Clockwork Mod Recovery or Phil's Touch Recovery, you can do either of those if you like those recoveries better. Here's some root options, again, really nice. You can use SuperSue by Chainfire, or you can use SuperUser by Kush. So that's also very nice, along with some BusyBox and Quick Boot options as well. And then this is really, really important right here. If you want to flash a factory image, but you don't want to wipe data, right here, boom, you want to click that. That's very important. I'm going to click no to this script, but that's very important, and that will allow you to flash the firmware um, from Google but not wipe the data which allows you to update which I'm going to do a video on at some point but today we're really going to focus on is the file association file types right here and we're going to focus specifically on APKs so if you click on this this allows you to go ahead and install apps from your computer to your device so we're going to apply this and looks like it's been successful and then we're actually going to close the tool out we don't need this anymore to do what we're going to do so then what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to open up the internet and this is rootjunkiesdl.com this is my server site and let's say we download an app so here's some applications in here i'm going to say i'm going to download flappy birds i i went ahead and made a backup of flappy birds so because it went off the market for a while and i figured why not have a backup in case anybody ever wants to play it so I downloaded it here, and I'm going to download it right here. You can see it's a .apk. That's the file association type we chose. So I'm going to download it. And once I download Flappy Birds, um, it's very, very simple. You can see I have my device over here, and it's plugged into my USB cable and all those features, drivers, and debugging is turned on. Anytime you click on anything with the file extension of .apk, look what happens once you have this feature turned on in the Nexus Root Toolkit. There we go. This pops up. Now you saw I didn't have the program open. It automatically did this when I type on an APK or click on an APK. Um, basically you want to install this. I said, okay, I do want to install it. So first thing it does is it checks ADB, sees that your device is connected, installs the app, go ahead and hit accept on your device. And then, now that's gonna be different depending on your device. You may have to like turn on some other features, but you should have a pop up there. And then that's it. Process finished, done. That's how simple it is. Now let's just check it out on the device. So we'll go in the app drawer here. There is Flappy Birds, and boom. It's really that simple. You just took any APK that was on your computer and using file association, with the Nexus Root Toolkit, it is now on your device. Gotta love it, absolutely love that feature. It's very nice, there's other file associations you can do on there if you like, definitely check them out. Stay tuned for more on the Nexus Root Toolkit, 
and some cool videos coming on that really, really soon. Check out the playlist, obviously, down below, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Reed Junkie, out. Yeah.